All right, guys. So here's another quick tutorial to go over some information here. So again, this thing here is the top LCD screen and it helps show us information. Where it says 100, that's our shutter speed. And again, we just turn that top dial to change the shutter speed. Really simple to do. The ISO is right there. You press that ISO button and then now you can change the ISO. Okay. If you want the stuff to come back, you just half press the shutter just a little bit and now everything's back. If it's dark and you can't see, you press the little light button there to turn things on. If you want to change that 1.8 right there, that aperture value, you got to turn the back wheel. So if you turn it left or counterclock counterclockwise, it goes it gets smaller. Clockwise, it gets larger, the number. So you just turn that jog dial. So that's how you change those three settings. Over here is the mode dial. Whenever we're working with our photos for now, I'll be asking you to go to manual mode. If you look right here, there's a little white line. That white line has to match up with the letter. So if you want to change the setting, you got to push down on this button. You make sure you push down and then you can turn. Okay, so that's how I change it. If it's not, it won't change. So let's put it back on M. Now it's on manual mode. Other things to keep in mind. Once you're, the camera is turned on, if you press the letter Q here, you will see some information show up. This information is similar to what you see on the top of the camera. You can move with the D-pad, and if it goes away, press the Q option again. You can go up and down, right, left. So for example, maybe you want to change the ISO here, so just make sure the box is highlighted and turn the top dial, just like you normally do, and it'll change. Then let's say I want to change the aperture value, and I can just use the top dial to change the aperture value or go to the shutter speed and turn the top dial. One of the things I want you to take a look at is this box right here. This box is our shooting mode. Okay? It's how, how, what, it's how the, the camera operates. Right now the camera is set to single shooting mode. So what does that mean? It's going to take a single shot. If I can focus it on something. Okay. One at a time. If I go back to the Q menu I want to change that to H with a bunch of boxes. It's called high speed continuous. If I click on that, okay, I hit the set button to do that, and then I gotta take a picture. The camera will take a lot of photos at one time. Now, when would you need high speed? You need high speed when you're shooting uh, sports or anyone that's running or moving and you need to get a lot of pictures. Next, let's keep moving along here. If there's a, there's a little camera right here, that is a level. If you click on the set button, it'll show you whether the camera is leveled or not. So technically, this table is not leveled. When the lights turn green, when the color turns green, it means the camera is leveled. It's a straight, uh, hor um, straight line. Go back to the Q menu. So I'm going to half press, I, oh, it says press the menu button to go back, so I'm going to press the menu. Next, the next thing I want you to see is the this one here. Now this might say something else, but I want you to go to this very left corner box. Oops. If things go away, just press the cube button again. The one shot, let's click on that one, it might say something else. You have three options. You have one shot, AI focus, AI servo. If you're shooting sports, you want to be on AI servo. Or if you're shooting anything that's moving. In most cases, when you're shooting portraits of people not moving, let's press the Q option again and click on the AI servo, press the set button. You're going to use one shot mode. So when you're shooting just a portrait, go to one shot. If you're shooting something with sports or movement, press AI servo. 
AI focus is in between. It does both. It can shoot one shot and it'll turn to, to AI servo depending on the situation. So that could be a good one to use. But I prefer choosing one shot or AI servo depending on your situation. This one here is the metering system. This should probably be on evaluative metering. So there's a few options and I, I will talk about this more later on but this is the camera determines how to meter for the photo. However, if we're in manual mode, this really doesn't matter, but we should leave it on evaluative metering. This option here tells you to change the file size. You have some options, but right now I want you to leave it on JPEG L. We'll talk about RAW later. RAW is a file type that contains more data and allows us to correct the photo better. Next is the exposure compensation, but again, because we're in manual mode, we don't really need to worry about this, but if we decide to do auto modes, this might be something to consider. Then there's a standard picture profile here, and um, this will affect the picture and how it looks at the end. I will just leave it on standard. Actually, that's the um, profile. This is the picture style. So right now it's set on standard and we can change it depending on what we're shooting but we're going to leave it on standard mode. Next, if we half press the camera, it's back to a shooting mode. I'm going to press the menu button. Okay, menu. Actually, let's press the little playback button down here. If you press the playback button, maybe you want to zoom in on the photo. To zoom in, you're going to click here on the top right there to zoom into your photo for the plus sign and the one on the left is a minus sign so that's a good way to, to check you just turn the wheel to go left and right in your photo so if you took a bunch of photos just move the wheel left or right you don't if you want to move to a bunch of photos you turn the top dial that will jump 10 pictures at a time but if you just want to move one photo at a time move the back wheel and that's how you zoom in right here Another one, the menu option, if you go to the first yellow wrench, the first wrench, the option for formatting is there. You'll want to click that usually when we're done with our session, but don't format unless you need the files. If you click format and you click OK, you'll delete all your pictures. Don't do that. You only want to do that once you know you've transferred your, your data or I've asked you to format it. So that's how you do that. 